have you seen the time? The kids were all here at 20 to 9. So don't be surprised if you hear that shout. Trousers all inside out. Go, go, dick and dog. Silly little dance. Yes, yeah, so you have a nice night's sleep last night. Oh, uh, you know, funny enough, uh, at this point in the morning, I always tell you that I have a bad dream. And last night, funny enough, I did have a bad dream. I checked there was a shark in my toilet. Oh! <laughs> Come on! Hurry up! Who's in there? I really need to go, please! Too late, too late, too late. There was quite literally a shark in your toilet with music from Bergerac. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I don't remember my dream looking like that, though. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I'm very excited. Why? Because it's the seventh day of our advent calendar. Shall it's I open nearly, up? It's nearly crimbo. Shall I open up the door? Oh, Rudy, Rudy! Oh, they kind of stop like that as well. <laughs> the bungalow heads have stayed the night in the bungalow. They've all had a good night's sleep. They're back. Let's meet the bungalow heads! You're a rubbish kisser, by the way. Thank Hello! You. Who's back? Claire's back! Hello, Oh, Claire. look at him. Like, what, what, what was that? What was that you threw over there? Don't kill your brown teddy. What is he? Poor brown teddy. Oh, who, who's this? Introduce the nation to him. Chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Chocolate Can bar. Can you eat him? No. <laughs> <laughs> Claire, apparently you like to chew uh, on leftover bones. Can you explain? Yeah, um, at Sainsbury's, we mm. buy bones because they have <laughs> them for free. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, my mum gets them, yeah. so I chew on them. <laughs> and I like, like chewing on the bones. Yeah. Well, you know what? We've got a photograph of it. Would you like to look? Have a look. Here's a look. Because you chew it on our bones. Ugh. What do old bones taste like? Nice. All right, well, we've got an old bone there. I chew it. meat. Chicken, beef, lamb, dog. Mmm, I don't care, I say, I say, I don't care as long as it's meat. So give it a chew, give it a chew. Chew on this old bone we've got for you. Oh, no, no, it's going to sit down. Chew, 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 chew the bone. Chew on the bone for the rest of the morning. Welcome to the bungalow, Claire. Welcome back. Who's next? Hello. Hi. Hey, hello. Hi. Oh, oh, another teddy. You've all got your teddies with you. Who's hey, look, I like your oriental outfit. Very nice. Look at that. Yes. Do, 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 one of, do one of them. Oh, look, there's a school board, by the way. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll let everyone do that. Oh, don't do that. No, no, no. Who, who's your teddy? Um, Dom, Dick and Harry. Tom, Dick and Harry? Tom, Dom, Dom, Dick, oh, and Dom Harry. Dick and Harry. Well, there's no one that exists called Dom, Dick and Harry. Well, there is. It's a good teddy. Lovely, very uh, nice. Paige, uh, did you enjoy yesterday on Dick and Harry? Yeah. Did you have a really good time? Yeah. Fantastic time. You, went, you did tricky training, didn't you? Yeah. And it went a bit wrong, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, you were quite good. And, and you had to spend the rest of the uh, rest of the afternoon trying to cheer up Miserable Maury. <laughs> Miserable Maury? Is the name changed again? Yeah, it changed again. like a chameleon. you got a nickname? Yes. What is it? Bunyan. Bunyan? Bunyan? Bunyan's a big lump you have on your feet, <laughs> well, My sister-in-law had a bunyan move. <laughs> why, why did they call you Bunyan? Um, Claire's dad, when I was around Claire's house, um, her dad calls her onion and me bunion. Oh! Onion. So, so instead of being called a nice kind of onion, you, you're a kind so, of busy foot. So we've got onion over there, and we've got bunion here, so it's onion and bunion. I tell you what, can you, can you sing us a song about that? <laughs> Why not? Have a little think of a song you can sing about onion and bunion. One, two, three. Onion, onion and bunion, onion and a bunion, and an onion and a bunion, and an onion. Do you want us to have a go in it? Christmas number one there. Thank you very much, Paige. Who's next? Come on in. Who is it? Hello, dear. With a nice spring in that step. How are you, Jade? Fine. You've all brought your friends in this morning. Who is this one? Mellow. What? Mellow. Mellow. Will Mellow. Is he chilled out? 
chilled out teddy bears, mellow. Mellow bear, yeah, it looks too chilled. It looks like stuck in the fridge. It looks very chilled. Look at the colour of him. Don't stick your teddy bears in the fridge. It's so bad. Jane, run over to the scoreboard. Run, 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 run. Tell us how many points you got at the moment. 130. 130 because you're in second place. That's a very good place to be. Are you going to stay there? Are you going to get more points and go to top? More points. And how are you going to do it? What are your tic tacs? Um, be stupid. Be stupid. Well, could you please be stupid? We'll give you some points for being stupid. Yeah. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> oh, come on, be more stupid. Got all this room here. Go be stupid. <laughs> Just be stupid. <laughs> Go on. Points. Um, 50 points if you're stupid. <laughs> 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 Billy Purchase. Billy, Billy Purchase. Purchase. Yes. Why do you call your name for a cat? Why do you call it Billy Purchase? Because down my road is a cat called Billy and he looks just like this. Oh. And, and why Purchase? Well, yeah, because you probably bought it. Um, <laughs> no, but, but excuse me. I'm really sorry, Pat. Pardon me. I'm sorry, it was very rude. It's disgusting, isn't it? Now, Paris goes. Uh, <laughs> shut up, Moose. Um, now, Paris goes dancing twice a week and enters competitions for modern dance. I'm not reading this. Um, she even practices uh, by dancing up and down the aisles in the supermarket. Why don't you warm up the game ahead? For the game ahead. <laughs> Just dance. <laughs> Pretend you're in the supermarket aisle. Dance. <laughs> Do you want us to have a go at it? Yeah. yeah. Alright then, come on then. Here, I've purchased back. So what should we do? Should we? We haven't got a Christmas tree to stick this under. Well, let's yet. open it. Let's open should it today. Should we, we open it now? Let's open it. You know what? Open it. When? When did you get us this? When did you go out shopping for this? Well, we made it yesterday. Oh, you made, made it, it yesterday. When we stayed over in the bungalow. Oh, when you stayed over in the cold. bungalow. Lovely. What is it? Oh. Oh, hold on. It says little letters. It says read me first. So let me open it up. It says this sandwich Saves. contains. Is that a Sheffield thing? What? Say. Say. Is it? Yes. Just. Just carry on, thank you, yes, very, very kind, Paris. Uh, just get on with it, thank right. you, Jade. Right, move on. Uh, thank you, Paige. Uh, this sandwich contains garlic ketchup, marmite, bread, oh. out-of-date peanut butter, marmalade, salt and pepper, jam, garlic, ham, coconut cake, Massive. chocolate biscuit, ice cream, chocolate sauce, useful for stink bombs and practical jokes. But I tell you what, we won't use it for a stink bomb on practical joke today, we'll use it for Dom's breakfast. <laughs> Go on, Dom, eat your breakfast. <laughs> Have a nice bite. It's got out-of-date peanut butter. <laughs> Come on! It's out of date, Pete. Well, I dare you. It's got garlic. Don't you want him to try it? Yeah! yeah. Come on, get it down your chop. Shovel. Oh! <laughs> but thanks for the present anyway, Jake. Very sweet. Perfectly good sandwich and you Cheers. ruined it. Right, thanks. And finally! Oh, no. What's You're all right. Here. Don't What's stop the ambient. Oh, no, he's just been hit with the hands. Oh, no. Has he forgot to take his medication again? <laughs> Hello. Is he actually crying? We've never we experienced anything like we this. We had trouble with him yesterday. He was howling with laughter all morning. Hang on, two seconds. All right, you, you can have words. <laughs> Hang on, nearly finished. Yeah. We do like to say that's right, Jeff. See you in the bungalow. <laughs> Just welcome him, him to the bungalow. There we are. Say hello, you know. How are you doing? <laughs> Okay, he's okay now. Right, okay, then. Hello, George. How are you, sir? Fine. What were you doing in there? Sleeping. Sleeping, lovely. Did you have a nice good, good night's sleep in the bungalow? Yeah. Did he? It's a she. It's a she, sorry, who is it? Carly. Carly. Why'd you call it Carly? Just like. Uh, I like. Carly. Are, you, are you having a midlife crisis? <laughs> no. Okay. Why have you got, got an earring? earring then? Can we have a look? Can we just yeah, turn right. you? You've got, an, you've got an earring, George. It's, it's a glittery baby. <laughs> have you got issues? Does no. it stick on one? No. 
There is a reason. Anyway, real. George, yesterday you were at bottom place, weren't you? You were last. You had bunkers. Uh, George, 50 bungalow points. You got guns. Would you all like to see him getting guns again? Yeah! yeah! Let's all have a look at him getting humiliated. Well, there he was. You're not going to get gunged again today, are you? No. All right, how are you going to avoid that gunge? Um. Send Carly in instead. Come on, buck your ideas up. <laughs> be stupid. Be what? stupid. You I'm all want you to be well. stupid this morning. I tell you what, it's not just the being stupid, you know, it's the taking part of the caps, because this is what? the big bungalow game, and these are the bungalow heads! <laughs> it's not being about stupid, it's the taking part of the caps. Remember that one? That's our new quote. It's <laughs> lovely, yes. Now then, bungalow heads, on a Sunday at 11 o'clock, we give out the prizes. Would you like to see again what those prizes are? Yeah! Very good. Third prize is work experience at Tubby. Turks. Turks. Thank you, I forgot his second name. Turks. Tommy Turks, kebab Mr. shop. Mr. Turks. He's in Enfield and you can work behind the counter with him making kebabs. Would you like to do that? No! Yes! Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, sir. Yeah, and, yeah. and they serve yeah. top quality celebrities like Anne Diamond. Yeah, second prize is here as well. It's a DVD and the DVD player. Oh, Santa yeah. Claus the movie too. Nice. <laughs> oh, who wants that? You say you're yeah. All right, and uh, we've also got a first prize. Now, the first one is pretty good. You that, you that, no. Here it is. You that, you that, you that, you that, you that, play it out of it. Brand new Brian, like a punk beam in the sky. George, why don't you want the karaoke machine? Come on, let's hear you sing. Give us a couple of lines. Come on. He can't sing. Can you all sing? sing? Does he sing no! like a girl? Go on, give us a Christmas carol since it's nearly Christmas. Good King when just last went out on, on the beach of Spina. 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 If you put a black wig on, you've suddenly turned into Dom. So yeah. We want you to do impressions of us while we tell you at home how you can get involved Wait. in a bungalow this morning. Now I'm going to magic up the uh, Taz of Tasmania doorstep challenge. Right. Prize. Oh, you're going to magic it. Let's do bunions. Uh, oh. Mate, that is magic. <laughs> that is magic. That was brilliant. Well, all right, great. Yeah, <laughs> we can that. Right, oh, yeah, what is it? it? It's, uh, okay. it's one it's of these... Oh, it's uh, a pinball machine. Yeah, that's not bad, is that's it? That's a pretty good prize. I like Electronic that. Electronic pinball machine. I'd like that for myself, but yeah. I think the missus would probably stop me having it in my house. For the Taz Doorstep Challenge, call in 0901 900 500 0901. Oh, yeah, it is my house. You are my missus. <laughs> 900 500. Ask permission, Dal, carefully. Thank you. Is it all right to have that in here? It's fine. All right, Surprise. Good. All right, then. Uh, so there we are. Let's just quickly have a look at their impressions again. Eh? What? What? What's all this? <laughs> Are you in your Dick and Dom pairs? Go on, pair up. Dick, dicks and Dobs, all right? There's one Dick and Dom. No, no, no. There's one, there's one Dick and Dom. No, what are you doing? Okay, well, there's another Dick and Dom. There's another Dick and Dom. No, no, don't beat each other up. Tell you what, I'll tell you how you can email this morning pairs. on the bungalow. You can email bungalow at bbc.co.uk. We've got five foamulators. They must foam things up for you. I know. Foamy, foamy, yes. foamy. Five of those for good emails. Send them in straight do you, away. Do you like our rack? It's really good, isn't it? Nice, isn't it? <laughs> Very <laughs> poor. Five We're going to get all five away. Five. Because we always do. Five. Bungalow at bbc.co.uk. You know it by now. La, la, la. Blah, blah, blah. Now then, you lot, we're just going to see how you did with your impressions. We'll start off with this coupling, which is Claire and George. Please welcome Ooh. Dick and Dom. Hey. 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 Well then, do something. Oh, I'm Lame. What? I'm not Australian. <laughs> oh, I'm Lame. Is that it? No. Fair enough. All right then. Who's next? Paige and, um, Paige, Paige and Paris. <laughs> Claire likes to chew on Love the flavour bone. Will you just stop it? Shut up! <laughs> very good. That was, I like that one. <laughs> 20 bungalow points each for that one. Yeah. And Jake and Jade. Jake and Jade, let's see your impression before breakfast. Huh? Come over here. Come, come on, come stand over there. here. Jake and Jade. Before breakfast. You are now really? Dick and Dom. Let's bum. see your impression. Go on. Just mumble when you say. Claire likes to chew on leftover bones. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> 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 that was brilliant! Oh, that's a hundred bungalow <laughs> points each for them to walking! I tell you what, doing all those impressions must have made you very hungry, eh, bungalow head? Yeah! yeah. Well, no, would you yeah. like some curds I, and whey? Mmm! 
Cheers, Muppet. Sat on a tuffet, eating a curd's away, and so did six little bungalow head. That's more like it. Go on, keep telling me. Now, you. listen. We've got some issues here. Obviously, if you have a curd of curds and whey, you're going to look like you've got a spoon. You're going to want to flick it all over us. <laughs> Don't. That would be silly. Because you'll lose all your bungalow points. You've got to play the game properly. You've got one minute in the clock to eat as many, uh, well, much of your curds and whey as you possibly can. The one who eats the most amount of curds and whey after that allotted time span will win. Sixty-five bungalow points. <laughs> Sixty-five? Your time starts now. Shove it in your gob. Sixty-six, sixty-five, curds away, curds away, sixty-six, sixty-five, curds away, curds away. Shove it! Oh, look at this! Look at Paige! Look at her go! She can't do some art. Oh, look who's here! Little Miss Muffet's here. Come on, yeah, there she is. She's encouraging you. I wonder whether she's going to sit on her tuffet. <laughs> Where is her tuffet? I don't know. Why not? Oh, oh no! Spider! She's little Miss Muffet. Uh, it's well. going to sit down the shop. Oh, okay. It's like one big fairy tale in the bungalow, isn't it? Eh? You know what I mean? This. No, one she's big not very happy. Race. She's not very happy. There little we are. Muffet, sat on the tuffet, eat the curds and whey. And off came the spiders, even the spiders. Little Miss Muffet, sat on the tuffet, eat the curds and whey. And off came the spiders, sat on the tuffet, eat the curds and whey. Little Miss Muffet, sat on the Right, little Miss Muffet, could you help us out here and score them? Just have a look at the bowls and show us the bowls and tell us how well you think they did. Very well. That's not bad, is it? Very well. She did quite a lot there. What about George? He's got it. Terrible. He's got, Terrible. He's got a curds and whey beard. <laughs> nice. And look, look at that big puzzle. No, he didn't really eat much then, did he? What about Paige? Not as good as. Yeah, not as good as Claire here. Yes, yeah, Claire's dead. Your turn, Ben. Oh, I Ben? Dom. I just called you Ben. Why did you call me Ben? I don't know. It's the new wig. You look like a Ben now. All right, Terry. Ben. Can you believe that, viewers? We've known each other for about eight years. And we grew up together. We used to play stick and hoop together, whip and top. And now, after all this time, he calls me Ben. Is <laughs> 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 she burpy? Claire, my right mate. then. Get now, Paris, you ain't done too hot, have you? You didn't like your curds away, stick did you? Stick it on her head. Don't stick it in your bib, you naughty girl. <laughs> Jane, no, you're not done too good. And over here, what's up with you? <laughs> hey? <laughs> I think there's a clear winner. Who's the clear winner? Uh, I think it's Claire, isn't it? Yes. Claire's got the 65 bungalow points! <laughs> hey, no, so how does that make you feel? Sick. Yeah, very yeah. good. Thank you very much. Little Miss Muffet, thank you very much. And the spider, go and chase her off. Go and chase her off. Get out of here. cereal? No, I say no. You want meat. Want to see what's happening on the bungalow this morning till 11? No. Oh, all of this. <laughs> It's going to be loads out this morning on the bungalow as usual on Sunday. Slipper Flipper with our three naughty celebrities is going to be here later. Yes. Looney Tunes. <laughs> oh, yes. Fourth it. Auction. Tom Dick and Harry. We've got Yvonne of the Yuko. Do not laugh or you will lose. Shut up. <laughs> right. Did you enjoy that? You liked that, didn't you? No! Where's that tuffet? Disgusting. What's Where's disgusting? Where's that tuffet? You don't like the curds and whey? No, eh? it's minging. 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 Oh, no, don't, don't fling it at us. We've got Taz to watch now. We're going to sit down nicely and watch Taz. I'll put the video in. Go on then, you put the video in. There you are. Okay. You see the video in. That's new. It's on for ten minutes. You'll see us again then. Taz. Press play. Press play. Toast. See you in a bit. Get up to Buglar on Sunday morning on the CBBC channel. How you doing, mate? So a little word I'm a bit ill. The pink elephant. I'm a little bit ill. Are my eyes I'm deceiving Ill. me, or have all the bungalow heads turned into tazzers? Oh, look at that. How crazy are you guys? Look at that. You've got big airy hands. Go on, do your taz impressions. Ah! Yeah, okay, no, that's just weird. Time for the Taz doorstep challenge. How many times will Taz of Tasmania spin round on someone's doorstep before they open the door? I don't know. How many times will Taz of Tasmania Well, spin two callers are going to try and decide, and then bungalow heads, you pick a team. If you're right, you'll get. 25 bungalow points we'll say today. Hello! Hello! This is your caller. Hello! Is anybody there? 
Yeah. Is it Mr Lister? Yeah. How are you, Mr Lister? All right. Are you happy? Yeah. Well, you sure? Can you pretend to be excited to be on the King Dong the Bungle? How old are you, Mr Lister? Eleven. Eleven? What's your first name? Bradley. Bradley. Welcome to the bungalow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got a favourite bungalow head today? I bet he says no. George. George? Why George? Because he's funny. Because he's do, funny? Do you like yeah. his bit of bling? Yeah. You like his bit of bling? Yeah, like his bit You're a chatty bit one. Bit of, yeah. So anyway, Mr Lister, Lister Bradlington, Bradlington Lister from Darlington, Bradlington. Uh, how many times do you think Taz is going to spin round? Five. Five. You got five. Put the phone down. Hang up. Gag finished. Right. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right, come on, get on with it. <laughs> oh dear, we've, we've lost him! We've lost him! Ah, that doesn't help. Come on, love, carry on. Right, West Drayton produces some of the finest callers. We have one of them here. Does it? It's um Who is it? Mason. Mason? Newell. Mason Mule. Hello, Mason Newell. Newell. Mason Newell, are you there? Try the other. Alright, go away then. What about from Raiden? Joanne. Raynham Davis. Joanne. Hello. Hello. Hello there. How are you? Okay. And who are you tipping to be? Paige. Who? Paige. Why? Why, Why Paige? Because she's funny. Because she's funny too. You're all funny, bungalow heads. Hardy, hardy, heart. <laughs> all right then. Uh, now, how many times do you think Taz or Tasmania? Do you like the bungalow? Yeah. Good. Uh, how many times? Why do you think she's called in? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's why I thought it was another program by accident. Maybe she thought it was the chip shop. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Chinese takeaway. Let me check. 10 out of 10 again. 111 <laughs> percent. Brilliant. <laughs> what? <laughs> How many times do you think Taz is going to spin round, Joanne? Three. How many? Three. Three. Thank you. OK, we've got five with Bradley and Joanne with three. Choose your teams now. <laughs> Go! I'm five, he's three. Chosen? Oh. Chosen? Lovely. Right. Oh. All there is left to say is Taz. Oh, 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 no, oh, wait. Wait a minute. They're all changing their mind. Are you changing your mind? Is that it? Finish? Yeah. You three definitely <laughs> stick with it. Go! 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 All there is left for me to say is Taz, take it away. Spinny spin. <laughs> What a pinball machine, mate. And a T-shirt. Ah, thank you, whoever that was in the bank. And Jade, Paris, and George, you all get 25 bonus points. Yay! OK, now over here, uh, we got Paige, Claire and Jake. Now, can we tell you, Paige, Jake and, um, and Joanne, and Joanne, Joanne, well, what you get? Joanne, what do you think you get? What? Diddly Squid. Well, no, 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 because that's where you're wrong, you see. You don't get Diddly Squid. Do you know you what you all, get? You all get... A T-shirt. Bubkus. Look it up in the dictionary. There you are, what about Bumpkus. that, eh? Bubkus. That's bit of what? Bu what? What? It means nothing. It means nothing. It yeah, mean but that's nothing. what we mean, nothing. Bubkus. Yeah, it does mean nothing. You get Bubkus. You get. Is that with a booby prize? What? Who's that in there? Is that. That's not Joanne, is it? And she wants a booby prize. Mum. Is she mad? She wants a booby hey, prize. We'll send you a toolkit. All right. Right. There you are, lovely. Actually, See you later, love. <laughs> Go away, Joanne. <laughs> All right. Now, do you know what? I have been working very hard with this toolbox to create, quite literally, a monster. All I have to do... Right, what are you going to do? What? What are you going to do with it? Well, I'm going to show you. Right? In fact, everyone else at home... Uh, at home... Oh, you're there. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm ill. I'm <laughs> ill. Come over here, bungalow. Because what we're going to do is we're going to get a screwdriver, get some spanners and get some of these, and we're going to try and make something out of it. What so are we making? That. Well, I'll show you. We're going to make we're a robot. We're making a robot? Yeah, a robot. Oh, wow, yeah. we're making a robot! <laughs> Yeah, I'll put that bit there. 
Tighten that knot. There, there we are. Lovely. And one. Robot. Robot. Watch. Very clever bungalow heads, well done. Wow. It's amazing what you can do with a bit of a car now. Dom's created that out of a toolbox. Well, no, yeah, all bungalow heads helped as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. Paige, Paige you made the arms, Paige. didn't you? No, Paige made the arms. I made the Jade, I made you, the body. What did you make, Jade? I made the, I made the legs. Inside. You made the insides? I made the legs. You made the legs, George, huh? I made the body. Paris made the body, lovely. I made the head. Claire made the head, nice. Nice robot, but nature waits for no man. He, he talks and thinks at the same time. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the doctor. I said, Doctor, can you give me anything for excessive wind? He said, Yeah, here's a kite. <laughs> what? You don't like it? <clears throat> Apparently not. Ow! Jake! 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 Come out of that toy. Where's your hammer? Where's the mallet? Go get it. Go get it. Bring it back out. <laughs> right, because the, yes. the robot's uh, slowed down and broken a bit. I think it just needs a little tap with the hammer. Why don't you just need a little over there and that, that, that screw at the back's just coming out on the back of his oh, head. Right on his bum. Give it a little There's tap. A screw on the bum. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's better. You had another few. Keep Sorry. going. It'll keep dancing for you. No. Oh, my <laughs> word. Stop. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, it's out. Oh, Why doesn't he Go. play? I'll tell you what. Why doesn't he play? Were well, you about to say the same thing as me? I think so. Well, why doesn't he play Boom Bang Bang? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Great minds think alike. Boom Bang 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 Boom Bang Bang Pop Slot Crack Slot Bang Bang Boom Bang Bang Another crazy game for us all. Happy Bungalow Game. You know what? In Boom Bang Bang, the bit where one of us dances over there, well, the robot can do it for us. We don't have to do any work. How nice. Would you like to? There we are. Well, I'll tell you what, Dom, actually. It'd be what? funnier, actually, if you played the game, wouldn't it? Nah. Nah. Quite like <laughs> dancing. That means we don't have to dance. All right, then, the idea of this game is perfectly simple. It's a bit like Pass the Parcel. We have balloons in these buckets yeah. back here. You've got to pass the balloon along each other's heads. When the music stops, you've got to keep hold of the balloon and you'll get creamy muck mug all over your head. <laughs> we keep doing that, the and then you're out. And then we keep doing that until we're left with one person. That person will be the winner of our... 102 bungalow points. Oh, yes. Ooh, how nice. It's a big scoring game. You've you got your balloons. Oh, and listen, the people at the end as well, you can't just pass it straight back. When you get it at the end, you've got to you've hold got to it straight back over your head. Tell you what, all right. I might join in with this today as well. Go on then, balloon banger bang. Start the music, robot. Click your fingers. Ah, I'm playing hot. I'm playing today as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Robot, stop the robot. music when you want, robot, with your fingers. Oh, ready? And any time now. Over your head, right over your head, on your head, on your head. <laughs> on your head, <laughs> on your head, on your head. <laughs> oh, that was a big, that was a, oh! <laughs> no, sit down, oh, sit down, George, sit down. Oh. OK, yeah. you're up, George, oh. continuing. Oh. Hope it's not going to be me. <laughs> Those who are about to be mugged, mug, <laughs> we salute. Yeah! Do, 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 Here, the Jake! Yeah! Oh, they're exploding all over the place today, aren't they? Right? Well done. Start that music, Roby. Do you know what? I thought of a name for the robot. What? I thought of a name for the robot. I'm going to call it Melvin. Melvin, Melvin the robot. What a silly name. There it is. Ah, oh, no, man. You dare, mate. This Shall ruins my hair. He called me Ben earlier, didn't he? Yeah. Shall, Shall I do it? It's like pantomime. Shall I do it, boys and girls? Yeah! Shall I? Yeah! Yeah! Hold on a minute. You're my wife. What? <laughs> you dirty swine. Yeah! <laughs> what? Aren't you going to tell me to go and sit down? You're going to tell me to go and sit down? Shut <laughs> off. <laughs> wife. Why? Why? Come on, Melvin. Yeah! Yeah, lovely. Yeah, 
Claire, 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 Claire. Claire, 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 Claire,
Ah. Some hot stamps letters to our usual address. Anna oh. Shipman did. She's seven oh. and a half from Limington, Merseyside, with her dog Mabel <laughs> doing the pants dance. Uh, they adapted the pants dance song to My Doggy Is Wearing Pants so she can do the disco dance. She's been wearing them all week, and boy, do they reek. Well done. Look at the pants and the t-shirt. Oh. I can't hear what you're saying. I'm Speak so, up. I'm ill. So, can you send me some emails? Sympathetic emails, please. I'm ill. <laughs> no, Ulster. Don't kiss me. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not um, trying to kiss you. Why are you just sitting up my face like that? It's meant to be weird. Anyway, there's the bungalow address. Tell me what you think about that. Um, Josh Ingall sent. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I'm ill. Uh, seven years old from rugby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, doing the pants dance in his uncle's huge pants. So they're massive, whopping great pants. You're a bit tetchy today, aren't you? Oh, I don't want to be. You're getting a bit tetchy today. I think he needs a bit of a uh, bit of sympathy. Go over there and sympathise with him. Don't oh, hit me with a bow. You come over here because each Sunday we have a big person in the airing cover to air their views on something. They're going to complain about something they don't like. And and today. Uh, I like travelling on the buses and listening to all the people's conversations, but I can't understand a word these kids are saying. I, I, I want to know what they mean, but I cannot understand a single word. What am I supposed to do? What's he supposed to do? Um, you be quiet. Oh, you're tell, you tell him. Tell him. Have some quiet. children and learn. Fair enough, OK, that's fair enough. I think he understood that. Yeah. Uh, I say, do you want to buy a ticket for my meat raffle? Uh, I say, meat raffle, meat raffle! Slip a flip a flip a slip a thunder cracking butt smacking chicks beware of flying footwear ready to take your aim it's a flipping slipper game oh! I'm feeling a lot better now. It's a slipping, flipping, flipping, slipping game. Right, all you have to do is divide yourselves up into three teams of two. Then you divide that team into a flipper, slipper, and a flipper, loader. Slipper, flipper, whatever. You know what I mean by now. OK, then all you have to do, you have got one minute on the clock to try and bring your... Is, it, is anyone actually listening? No-one's listening, no. I think they all, I think oh, they all know what to do, because they've obviously watching. Do you know what to do? Yeah. Oh, you don't know what to do? So yeah. am, I, am I wasting my breath? No. What? No. Ow. <laughs> So now we need three naughty celebrities. I'll go and get them. You go and get them. <laughs> so please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, with boys and twirls, here in Nick and Dom in the Bungalow, we have three naughty jailers. Here they are, three naughty jailers. Oh my word. Oh. Hi, guys. <laughs> Good luck. Um, what happened? We have been naughty, uh, so we came here for our punishment. Uh. What language is that? I'm Jennifer for uh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, more like yeah, yeah, Binks than Jennifer Lopez. Right, all right then. then. Spin round. You've all been very naughty, <laughs> and you're all going to. You're all going to shout out loudly when you get smacked on the butt. Oh, not yet, George. No, don't just smack him with it. You're going to flick it with your foot, yeah. You're 45 crazy, seconds, your time starts now! You go! Go on. Did you tell them how many bungalow points they get for the winners? What? Well, let's. Let's call it 50. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please, okay. can we have some decorum in here? <laughs> got, got to. Sh what? Get it. My <laughs> Four, mind my bomb. Two, mind my bomb. <laughs> Three, mind my bomb. Five, mind my bomb. Two, mind my bomb. Four, mind my bomb. Five, mind my bomb. Six, mind my bomb. Five, mind my bomb. Six, mind my bomb. Seven, mind my bomb. Mind my bomb. Seven, mind my bomb. Eight, mind my bomb. So right. That's right enough. Turn back around to face us. Thank you. Get out! Oh, yeah. <laughs> right then, George and Jake's team. All right, first of all, uh, over here, Jayla, come on. Savan. Uh, Savan? Are you still with Pete Savan. Diddy? What? Pete Diddy? Yeah. Are you still with him? Yeah. Is he a man? He's crazy. Oh. Yeah. Savan! Australian. <laughs> Savan. Savan. All right then. All right. Savan. Right. And what about who was in this team? Paige and Claire? Yeah. Paige and Claire's team? How many? Three. Jello, Jello, it's not that bad. And over there, hello. Finally, Paris and Jade's team. Eight. What? Eight. 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 Yeah. 
No, he's just. Eight. I know you're saying eight. Uh, we just wanted eight. to have a look at you for a little bit longer. There we are, marvellous. Right, <laughs> moving on. There you are. So who's won? Me, Yes, Jamie oh, Bay. You're the winner. You won low points. Yeah. Come on. Fantastic. Well, 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 thank you very much, uh, Jay. Bye bye. Now get out. Go on. Lovely. See you soon, mate. Bye. 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 Right. <laughs> We've got new mail, apparently, mate. You uh, have new mail. All right. Yeah, yeah we, know, we know. We know. Uh, we know. Uh, uh, next week, th next week we'll have three naughty sound men. <laughs> Kelsey Watson, who's 12, from Stevenage in Hertfordshire, says, Last Wednesday, I had a dream where I was in the staff room at school and all the teachers were playing musical splatoos in there and were throwing pies out of the windows at people. It was so funny. I hope they're right when they say dreams can come true. Wouldn't it be nice, Kelsey? And uh, you want to you you foam a later. Thank you for that. Dear Dick and Dom, this is from Ben in Ashton. Uh, Dear Dick and Dom, me and five of my mates were having a creamy muck muck fight in the back garden, but we were using mud. We were having a good game with all of a sudden, well, when all of a sudden, I threw one as hard as I could and it cracked all over the conservatory window. You've won one. I've just got to quickly read this one because I like this one. Lauren Ford, two weeks ago, my mum could have made Dick sick. Because as in Dick and Dom in the bunga, as in Dick and Dom in the bunga, you know, make Dick sick. Because uh, yeah. if he could have seen it out of the TV screen, which was at the end of the hospital ward, he would have seen my mum giving birth to our new sister Alicia. So there we are. So you would have found the later too. Lovely. Two left, two uh, left. Uh, BBC. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Bungalow at bbc.co.uk. Should we watch a programme? Yeah, let's watch a, let's watch a cartoon. Does anyone want a video? Does anyone want to watch a video? Cartoon. Yeah. Everyone yeah. Everyone's yeah. Everyone's, everyone's, what? Yeah. Who said no? No, me. No, no. 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 Well, what do you want to do instead? Play, well, go and play. We'll watch a video. Play. You go and play over there. Okay, like that. Have a play. Have a play. Have a play. Got the flu. Got the lurg. Bed. bed. I should be in bed. Bed. Shut up. Bed. There's lots to do, you know, still this morning, mate. In the bungalow and on the street. Yeah, loads. <laughs> we never see the street, though, do we? <laughs> you know, at the beginning of the, of the show, it says, in the bungalow and on the street. What happens in the street? <laughs> should we go and have a look? Let's go and have a look at the street. What's wrong with you today? <laughs> Nothing in the street. Formula One racing, of course. <laughs> you knew that. <laughs> Great soundproofing on that door. <laughs> right. Did you enjoy that? It was lovely. I had a really good fun. This was coming up in a bungalow until 11 o'clock this morning. <laughs> All of this for you, as, as well as Formula One racing, there's going to be a bit of four foot auction with Tom Dickinary. Oh, Tom Dickinary. Ah, uh, there we are. We've got him. What have you got? A great cracking cartoon that you can enjoy right here. Da-da. As well. We're going to find out whether things are bad, good or bad, bad. Uh, also, we got Looney, Doom, the Four of Four, and Pretty Cat, Four Little Tweety. But only if we've time. And at the end of the show, just before we go, do not laugh or you will lose. Stay tuned. <laughs> Bungalows, the main thing is though, are you having a good time in the bungalow this Sunday morning? Yeah! Oh, no, I love someone's trying to get in to ruin your excitement. Hey, oh, hey hello, I've been beaten to it. Right, that's that then. No, 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 close the door. Leave the door closed, otherwise it might get in. Answer it. No, don't leave it closed. Is there a chicken girl here? Go away! Go away! Go away! You're not ugly! You're not cheeky, you're geeky! Go away! I'm going to be having a good friend, no? Go on, you're here! Go what? Go away! I don't even have to do my job anymore. They do it for you. Great. Here's what the bungalow heads bungalow scores look like at the moment on Dick and Dom in the bungalow on Saturday morning. You can see that Zed Flat has got 165 points. Jane's got a massive 355. Go on, Jane. Paris got 150. Then on the next page, you can see uh, Paige. Oh, no, Paige, you got Paige. That's so funny, isn't it? Uh, 211. And uh, Jake, you got 250. And there at the bottom, you got Bubkus. You got Diddly Squirt. You got 75 points. Jane's in, Jane's in the lead with 355 bungalow Don't points. Now, here, bungalow heads, you know, you know on a, a Sunday, usually you have a nice Sunday roast. Yeah! Well, would you like to put that roast on your hand before it's been cooked? No! Do that with a carcass on your hand. Do that, never do that. Yeah. You'll never do that with a carcass on your hand. You've got 45 seconds in which to wrap a Christmas present with chicken carcasses on your hand. The people that are playing this are George and Jade, because because uh, Jade is at the top at the moment and George is at the bottom. Now then, Jade, if you win this, you'll stay at the top. You've got to win. George, if you win this, you'll go to the top and take all our points. <laughs> you guys come around here. Person Paige, come around here. 45 seconds. Jade, what? come around this side. Can you cheer them on? Of course you can cheer them on. Yeah, 45 seconds, go! Wrap that no, present. No, 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 no
There's some sellotape down there as well, look, you can stick it together. Oh, Lovely. Isn't this nice on a Sunday morning, eh? Sunday, bro. What do you want to see? A couple of little bungalow heads with... What are you doing? Bungalow heads with shipping carpets on their hands. Wrapping up their Christmas presents. Well, take you a moment. All right, you go now. Stop. Time's up. Stop. Right. Well, well, well. Could be a clear winner here, but we'll start with Jade, because she's in the top at the moment. Oh, dear. Jade, you, um... You didn't actually wrap it at all, did you, really? You just kind of st stood there with chicken carcasses on your hand. And you actually think if Paris was helping you. Yeah. And, you and you took the carcasses off your hand. George, now you're at the bottom of the scoreboard at the moment. If you've won this, you'll take all the points and go to the top. So let's have a look. Let's build the tension and have a look at George's present. Look. Is it better wrapped than Jay's? Well, it's well, got, uh, well got Mr. Of... Richard McCord, it's got a bit of ribbon over the top, so I think that says something. He's actually got it kind of in there, look. He did. Yeah, yeah it's kind of got it, it in there, look. Up, so I think George has done it, and you go to the top of the video! Yeah! 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 George had 75, yeah. Jade had 355. We're going to flip them over now. Flip and reverse, flip tight and reverse. And you can see that now Jade has got 75, George has got 355. Yeah. There you go, Jade. Jade, the good thing about it is you, you, you've already proved yourself to be a great bungalow head, so you can get more points. All, right? all you have to do is do the following. Nice bit of carcass action. I liked it. Yeah, so, very so good. So Jade, so you look, 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 Jade doesn't seem too bothered. You're not gutted, are you? Oh, it's yeah. only, it's only a game. Don't worry, but, but remember, it is all to play for. Oh, you oh, oh. Me yesterday. Paris. Par yeah, drop your head. Drop your head. Paris. Why couldn't the skeleton go to the dance? Cause he had no body to go with. <laughs> Paris looks so sweet and innocent. Do you see her lovely little face she came out of the lift this morning? Rah! Little night I know. Stop no, no, stop. George! Look, George, you can't go around hitting the girls. <laughs> Georgie Porgy pudding and pie. Hit the girls and make them cry. No, no, don't hit me. <laughs> flipping it. No, no, not you as well. Stick it up. <laughs> what, what's going on? What? <laughs> stop it! <laughs> stop right, pack it in, stop now. You're just excited because you're stop hey. stop showing off in front of your friends. Hey. How do you all be? What? What are you doing? No, I just saved your bacon! Oh, no. oh man. Look, stop it. No, look, there's gonna be tears from me. Come on. Look. <laughs> oh, dance! Quick, let everyone dance! Dance! That's it, let go of that and dance. Let go and dance. That's it. Let go. Quick, we need it for the next bit. <laughs> I thought that a girl if a girl says her boyfriend is buff. Don't understand what it means. I thought oh. Buff meant it was an envelope. Shut up! Oh. Go away! I thought it was a brown don't, envelope. Don't be a rude to another one of our guests. He's an adult. Listen to what he has to say. So? Oh, what? <laughs> stop it, please. How can Just you no, be? Stop how it. can you be cool and hot at the same time? I don't Shit. understand. Doesn't make sense to me. And what's minging? Why do they say I'm minging? It means ugly. You're ugly. Oh, nice. I don't think so. Oh, is that is he me? here, Dick and Dom? Have you got any spare meat? I'm not coming out! I'm absolutely cracking. Sit down. Just please leave me alone. Oh. Right, time for the forfeit auction with Tom the Canary. Here he is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Here he is. Oh, wow. 
some more of you this afternoon. See you later. Come on, they're making about another two dozen this afternoon. Get down there and show them how to make them. See you later. Is that just like a mole? You know what I mean? I'm capitalising, me darling. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in your local toy shop for Christmas. Right then, it's time for the box yeah. function. Right, sit down. What? Toy shop for Christmas. Yeah, it's lovely. Toy. <laughs> it's lovely. It's lovely. This is the part of the show where you can stitch up your bungalow mates with your hard-earned bungalow points. Mr Dominic Woody here is going to read out a forfeit for you. You can buy it with your bungalow points and then give it to your mate to completely and utterly stitch them up. <laughs> Aren't they sweet? They were lovely. Lot 103 is the big bad wolf kit. That's one of you, your kids. The kid, that's you, is a big bad wolf who huffs and puffs and blows the bungalow down. The kid, that's you, shouts, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your bungalow down and everything stops. Oh. The kid has three puffs to use at any point they want in the show. Is that it? <laughs> Did anyone understand a word you just said? Oh, shut up. Well, it's called the big bad wolf, kid, so let's sell it, shall we? Starting off at five bungalow points, it goes up in five every time you put your hand up. So who's going to give me five? Anyone going to give me five for the big bad wolf, kid? Anyone going to give me five bungalow points? Come on, it's only five bungalow. Ah, Paige is coming five. Oh, it looks like Claire's coming with ten. She scratched a chip. Oh, she's put her in there now. She's coming with ten. Anyone going higher than ten? Who's going to... uh, eleven, you can't do eleven. It goes up in fives. Paige has got fifteen. Anyone going to go higher than fifteen? It's with Paige for fifteen. The big bad wolf, kid. Anyone going to give me more than fifteen? Or are we selling it? Back. What? Can't take it back. Can't take it back. You've been for it. About. It's with Paige for fifteen. Anyone else want it for more than fifteen? It's going to Paige. It's sold. It's going once. Paige. Go on. Paige, over here. Paige. Paige. There we are. You bought that. How many points? Uh, how many points did you buy it for? Fifteen. 15 bungalow points. So, so let's have a look at the scoreboard. Look at your scoreboard. There you go. See your. Look, there it says page. Uh, 3, 2, 1. As do. There goes your score. Oh, it's already done it. You missed it. Oh. Never mind. Oh, well. It happened, honest governor. Well, there you go. So you're going to give it to Paige. Build and build the tension. A bit of bungalow tension building. <laughs> you know, there's a bit of music. He doesn't want it. No. No. <laughs> Entry. What did you just Harry. do, Paige? Did you just say who doesn't want it? <laughs> yeah. And Paris said me, so you gave it to her. Yeah. You cruel voodoo child. Oh, Harry! Paris. Go and you get changed. Go on, go on then. You're going to be Big Bad Wolf Kid. Don't go smack your bum, George. <laughs> right then, Mr. Dominic Wood, let's no, no. move it on, let's move it on. 104, will you tell us what it is, please? Yes. Thank you. Lot 104. <laughs> Off the road, rally driving kid. The forfeit holder gets a chance of a lifetime to go off-road rally driving in Wales. Oh. They'll go down to mountains, through streams, in forests, round bends. This is your chance to really put your foot down and experience the real outdoors. Who wants to go on an off-road rally driving experience? One off in a lifetime. Oh, it's a special prize today, isn't it? He's ill. Ah, it's a special prize, isn't it? The off-road rally driver. Who wants it first? Let's start it high. 20 bungalow points. Who wants him 20 bungalow points? Anyone can give me 20 bungalow points? Yeah, it's only 20 bungalow points. You've got loads. You've got loads of points, George. Do you want it for 20 bungalow points? Does anyone want the rally driving kid for 20 bungalow points? No. Tell you what, I'll throw in the bike with it as well. Anyone want the bike and the and the rally driving forfeit? 20 bungalow points. A, bu a pink bike. You want Jake? You're not giving me 20 bungalow. Give me five. You give me five for it. All right then. Sold to Jake for five bungalow. Points. So Jake, well, so you had you, 75. You get... well, and now you, you just we just got rid of five off you because you bought it for five. No, Jade. Jade. Jade um, now you've only got 70, me darling. So Jade. Yeah, Jade. Yeah, not Jake. Seven. Okay, now Jade, well done. So that means you, not only have you bought a forfeit, but you've also bought a nice pink bike. Oh, it's your bike, me darling. Yeah? Get away. So, so now what I need to do is, uh, yes, cycle right over, over. Give this to whoever you want. Cycle over Cycle there. over. That's it. Oh, a new bike for you, Christmas. Is that exciting? No. Do you like a stable? No. Oh. <laughs> Go on, who's going to do it? Who's she going to give it to? Give it to George. Oh, look, George wants it. 
me. No, no, no. no. Oh, yes. Yay! You had the kind of face that I have when, uh, when we play a game like Creamy Mutt, where you sit there going, don't pick me, don't oh, pick me. Don't hold on a minute. George is up to his usual tricks. He's off, look. What, what are you up to, George? Backwards. What are you doing? Wait, what? what? Oh, no, don't run stop. into people! Can you stop oh, trying to run the girls over and hit Here, them? Here, Jake, Jake, off we go. Go and get ready, mate. Go and get, get ready for rally now, driving. George, George. get out. Be nice Right then, girls. Paris was given the forfeit to be the big bad wolf kid. And here she is. In she comes. In Paris is the big bad wolf kid. In you come, Paris. That's it. Right. Oh. And I'm sorry you're going to let go. Very good. And what's what going on? I don't know. Come on, explain. She, she often she puffs. She's got three puffs, and she's often she's puffed what? once. She's often she's puffed once. So that's one gun. She's got two more often puffs left. Two more. She can do them at any time she likes yeah, for the got rest got of the show. Two more puffs left. <laughs> Ow! All right. She can do it for the rest of the show. As many times as you Ow! 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 In fact, in fact, we're going to give you an extra ow, too. We're going to give it here. Have a free one to demonstrate, all right? Go for it. Go. Ready? Wait. Half and puff. It's a free one. And I'll puff! And I'll puff! And I'll puff! And I'll puff! There's a cow! There's a flying cow! No! Puff! Stop puffing! Enough, Puff. Enough, Puff. Know what I mean, my darling? Know what I mean? Full for auction. Always the winner. Always the winner. Well, there you are, then. That right. was the, uh, that was the, uh, that was the, uh, So and now, now are we ready uh, to see Jake the rally driver, driver, driver here. Jake Woo! earlier was given the rally driver. Jake earlier was given the let's rally driver. Let's go and have a look in the television. So now let's go to the television and see how he's getting on as an off the road. Let's have a look at him rally driver. I'll press this button here. Here it is. Have a look at him. There he is. Oh, yeah! Welcome you to this extraordinary bungalow rally. Here we go. I see the winner's getting a little bad for young Jake. The great white hope from the bungalow team. I think the rain's coming in. And, oh, there we go. He's unfortunately, he hasn't got a windscreen, which is a little bit extraordinary in a rally driving contest. I've never heard any producer like that. Looks like he's in a real pickle. So, uh, what's happening? Well, the month of the turn up right is extraordinary day today at the month of... Oh, no! Who was that? <laughs> Did you see that? Who was there was see? someone in the road. Ow! Right, great going. And there he goes. He seems to be totally saturated and his windscreen's been blown up. Ow. He's climbing on. He's doing a great job. And an extraordinary Stop. 11th hour twist. Stop He's joined Stop. by Tom Stop. Nicanari. Stop. There he is. What's going on there? There's a bloke in a flat cap. That's Tom Nicanari from Nicanari. Tom Nicanari. Nicanari. What's Nicanari. 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 We don't know this time. There's no sides on the car. It's all gone yeah. mental. Yeah. Sit down and watch. Well, there we go. There's a little bit of dancing. I'm not quite sure what's going on in this rally race. It's all gone a little bit mad. Tom Nicanari is having a great Where's... time out and about on the rally motocross. An extraordinary day. It really is quite a first for uh, the bungalow here. Young Jake is uh, having a whale of a time. Then an extraordinary 11th hour twist again. They're joined by Melvin the Robot. Melvin the Robot in the car with Tom Nicanari and also Jake. Well, where will this end? There's Dominic in the car as well. Everybody's in the car. The bungalow's transported itself to a gravy-covered car. I can't believe it. And everyone else is back in the bungalow having fun. But bungalow everyone's fun having Come super time. Come on, bungalow heads, let's all get in the car! Come so on, bungalow heads, let's all get in the car! We're watching this. This Come is a real first for British Rally. Yeah. We've got a seat. How many people can we get in the motor? We've got a seat and stop out of the bungalow in a Come rally car. Come on, bungalow heads, let's all get in the car! The Lurgy is oh. taking over him. An He's yes, got the flu. Oh, Someone pick him up. Get just, off. just what he Get wants. Off. Loads of bungalow heads shouting oh. in his ear. Oh, no, no, no. Here now, just before l l l that, whatever the cartoon was, uh, we had the. It was one of the new cars, yes, yeah, uh, We had the uh, four for torsion. Uh, what? Hold on. <laughs> I'll explain in a minute. She shouts out, I'll huff or puff or blow your house down. That's what happens. You've got one more puff left now, all right, Paris? Use yeah. it sparingly. Use it sparingly till the end of the show. Oh, and also, um, 
Jake, where are you, Jake? Yeah. You were in the rally car, weren't you? Yeah. You were the rally driving kid. And yeah. here you are in the car, and all your friends joined you, didn't they? Yes, Tom, Nick, and uh, Harry, all the gang. Look, Melvin the robot, Dom and all the bungalow heads. There's oh, the pretty yeah. face. What? Yeah, there's the pretty face. The what? The pretty face. The pretty face? Me. That's you, is it? Yeah. Oh, right, all right, Jake. Yeah, lovely. You with the pretty yeah, yeah, look. And the big elbow. I'm just going to have a word with one of you guys. <laughs> I'm going to puff germs all over one of you guys. I'm going to have a little chat. So, um, Claire, Dom, I know I'm going to pick you. Paige loves you. What? I know. Paige loves you. So who, who, you, not you. who Paige, are you not picking? Paige, come, come over here. Paige, come over here. All right, Paige, give him a little kick. <laughs> Stop it, behave. And get married. Paige. <laughs> Paige. <laughs> Silly Paige. This is embarrassing. Uh, Paige, I was just, I was ah. just wondering. <laughs> would you? Would you? <laughs> like some more points? Yeah. All right then. All right. Well, this is how you get some more bungalow points. That's me. You That's me. have got to. I love you too. Shut up. <laughs> I'm trying to have a quiet word. Can you please back off? No. no. We're trying to have a private talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah you tell them, Paige. Guys. Yeah, wifey, you tell them. Oh, points I'll set the missus on you. Yeah, there you go. Over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, 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 just I'm, George, George, I'm, round the ball up. Take the ball over there. I can point that I point to each, and then we'll go. Paige. Yeah. Where were we? <laughs> um, we were talking about um, do I want more points? What? No. Do you not understand? Go away. Go away. Hey, I'm trying to yeah. point 100 bungalow points and then I'll go away and that's yeah. my final no. offer. You'll lose all your bungalow points. No. Here, you lot. I'm distracting you. Come on, here. Distraction. Distraction. Yeah, distraction. Dance, have a dance, have a dance. Distraction. Go back oh, no. Oh. OK, George. Distraction. Yeah, distraction. Right. Jade. Paige. 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 Welcome back. So, all you have to do to get more points, Paige. Wrestle Fox. Is two. How did you know? Because I saw him. Oh, great. You spoiled my magic. You've been <laughs> stupid, haven't you? Wrestle that fox! Fight that fox! You've got to fight the fox, Paige. You've got 60 seconds. Not yet. You've got 60 seconds in which to do it when I say go. If you do it in, say, five seconds, you'll get 55 bungalow points because there'll be 55 seconds left on the clock. Go! Fight the fox. Do you love the music? Okay, so we're all wrestling with a bit of music. George, get the fox to the ground. Oh. Oh. Don't hurt yourself. You need to hurt the fox. Take the fox. Take George, come over here. I'm going to make you proud. Take the fox. Make you proud. No, not you. Come on, Dad. Let's have a dab. Little, little, little tinkers. You need those bungalow points. Can we help? Can you help? No. So again. Come on. Get the legs. Face Get the with his legs. Get with his legs. Yes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Yeah. Oh, Paige, you did it. You did it with only five seconds left on the clock. You get five bungalow points. Oh, all that, that nice? Let's point. have a look at her scores. Yes, Paige, you had 196. You've now got 201. Oh. Oh. All morning, on, we've had the big person in the <laughs> airing cupboard airing their views on a certain problem. Don't be... Right, this time, don't be nasty to the adult. Yeah. No, don't be nasty to him. He's, he's a, oh, bit, a, bit of respect, ah. a bit of respect for your elders. Right, come on then. I will do. Lovely. Ah! No, don't stop pushing it. Battle bad time. It's battle bad. Oh, hello. Yeah. We're going to decide whether something is bad, good, or bad, bad. Oh, have you Who's noticed? That? Wherever you walk, they just follow you like rats. <laughs> you... No, no, they're not on the video phone. Bungalow heads, go in, go outside the door and get whatever's there. Bring it in. Come on, Francis! <laughs> it's Francis! <laughs> Bring it in! 
Come on, that's it. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Are you on love, Francis? Yeah. yeah, I thought so. Even when he's broken like that. Favorite. Even when his arm's dropping off. They yeah. ripped his lips, lips off. Ryan, you've well, ripped his lips off. Don't, don't, don't take his lip off. Don't be lippy now. I don't know. Right then, bad on bad today. Starting off with Say This Isn't So, which is Gareth Gates' new single. It's a love ballad. Should we have a look at the love ballad? Japanese tea. It's Gareth Gates. Say it isn't so. What do you think to that, Bungalow? Oh, I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty unanimous. That's pretty unanimous. Let's have a look at the other one. Bad. Who cared to use it? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm picking George. George, come round here. Why? You always get a pick for stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you can have a go in a minute. And let's all do the Francis. Aye, aye. Secondly, or bad or bad, is a new movie that's out at the pictures, the cinema. It's out now. It's called Elf. Elf. Yeah. yeah. So, Dad, I plan out our whole day. First, we'll make snow angels for two hours, and then we'll go ice skating, and then we'll eat a whole roll of Toll House cookie dough as fast as we can, and then to finish, we'll snuggle. I've got to go to work, buddy. Oh, and, and another thing: if you're going to be staying here, you should think about. Know, getting rid of the costume. But I've worn this my whole life. You're not in the North Pole any longer. Look, at you want to make me happy, don't you? More than anything. Then lose the tights. I mean, as soon as possible. As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Okay. Hey, I almost forgot. Ah! 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 Funny, it's Elf in your cinema now. What do you think, my dad? Quite a minute, quite a minute, quite a minute, because now we're going over to very modern technology. It's the popularity detector. Very modern technology, or words to that effect. Yes. It runs on it runs on pistons and double-A batteries. <laughs> Lovely. And maybe the odd LCD. It's the bad or badometer. And it's saying it's bad! Let's have a round of applause for it! Oh, look at that! Bad! Isn't it nice? Beautifully painted. Well, well that's that. That's that. Uh, shove that up there. Lovely. Right. Finally, on Bad or Bad, did you know bungalow heads and everyone at home? There's a day called National Nothing Day. Yes? There's oh, absolutely I'm looking forward to this. There's absolutely nothing going on today, so we're celebrating by sitting around and doing DVD Squid. So let's no, we're not doing DVD Squid, what are we doing? Oh, Bubkus. Let's all go and sit down and do Bubkus. Come on then, this way. Sit down and do Bubkus. It's oh. National Nothing Day. Oh, ready? Let's do oh. Bubkus. Ah, let's see if we can be quiet for 30 seconds for the people at home. Uh, oh, no. That's better, isn't it? Perfect. <laughs> no, no, no. Was your final puff? You've had them all now, all right? Thank you very much for doing that. The, did, you, uh, did you enjoy being uh, a wolf? Yep. <laughs> yep. Was it a dream come true? No. Oh. Do you want to see what your bungalow scores are looking like at the moment? Because we're, ne we're nearly at the prize time, everyone. We're nearly at the prize time. Let's have a look at the scores. Claire's got 165. Jade's only got 70. Come on, Jade. And then we got Paris. You got 150 pounds. Paige with 201. Okay, and I think he's at second place at the moment. Jake, you got 250. Put in the lead now with 255. George, look at him. He's stroking, stroking his, score. his score. He's so happy with well it. Well done, oh. George. Oh, yeah. Got another game though now, which could change everything, George. And it's called Do Not Laugh, 
or you lose. will lose. Two out of ten. Two out of ten. Right, do not laugh or you will lose. So let's get the chairs in. And the people that are going to play this Me? is George, because he's at the top at the moment. And the person in third place, which is Paige. OK, now here are the rules. With 201 points. George, sit there. Paige, sit there. This is your chance to get to the top. All right. So first for George, third for Paige. Now, there are three golden rules. Sit down. Put your hands behind your back. Please just sit down. Lovely. Thanks, George. All right, then. Now, first rule is you must have your hands behind your back. What's this new music? It's like a monastery. OK, put your hands behind your back at all times. The second rule is that you must never leave eye contact with each other. You can blink, you're not allowed to look away. And the third, final, and most golden rule is do not, do not laugh, laugh or you will lose. George, by the way, if, if you win this, George, you'll oh, stay yeah, at the top. Paige, if you win this, you'll nick all his points. <laughs> Go. Go. Everyone else, put your heads away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching Paige. I'm watching George. <laughs> We'd like to hear a comedy sound effect. <laughs> that was a turkey that gets stuffed at Christmas. Do you know what, do you know what it gets if stuffed you... with? If you laugh, you lose your place. Whee! I know, stop blinking so much, stop blinking so much. That's just silly. Silly people blink. Silly behaviour. People who smell blink. Ridiculous behaviour. Stop blinking so much. Remember, oh, 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 that's not oh, careful, George. That. Listen Remember. to this. <laughs> oh, and that's the sound you'll be hearing, George, if you go to the third place and work at Tubby Tucker's kebab shop. <laughs> <laughs> That was a monkey doing the butt dance. Here, get Imagine this. Imagine that. Right. <laughs> Ooh, try not to. Ooh. Here, look. <laughs> try not to laugh on the count of three. One, Ready? One. Two. two. Don't laugh. Three. <laughs> oh dear, the turkey's back. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, what she said. What was that, Jade? <laughs> oh, you're in your last morning. <laughs> Jade! Check this out, watch. I'm going to get my finger and I'm going to stick it up her nose. <laughs> to this music. But I might stick it up your nose. I'm going to stick my finger up your nose. Here, listen, Jake, can you think of anything that makes these two laugh? Yeah. Can't they? What? Do it. Oh, so what? Say it again. 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 Say it Put the butt dance first. Lovely. Put the butt dance. Butt dance. Now, butt dance. the wee wee dance. Ready? Wee wee dance. <laughs> He's going, he's going, he's going! He's not gone yet. <laughs> tea in the tea well. bath. Tea in the tea bath. He's still in it. Tea in the tea bath. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually starting to eat his bottom <laughs> lip. <laughs> oh no, the butt's going! You lost! Come round here! Come round here! Come round here! Come round here so we can see him! Ah. Wait! Oh, in the teeth! Stop pulling vases! Hey. Oh. Stop pulling vases like a fish! You look like a big haddock! Stop doing it if you don't stop! You're gonna lose! Wibble wobble wibble wobble jelly on a plate! Jelly on a plate! Jelly on a plate! You got hairy moustache! Wibble wobble wibble wobble jelly on the plate! Yes! No! He's gone! One yes! smirk, one, one smirk, one, one smirk too many, I'm afraid, Georgie. Yes! So, Sorry, so that's in life. Oh, well. For the rest oh, of well. his life, for the rest yes! of his life, he'll be miserable. 
He'll be terrified to smile from now on. So, Paige, he, he's going to wander out for the rest of his life. What's he doing? Right no, you're not up at the top. <laughs> Get down. You're in third no. place now. No. 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 It's not that part of the show yet. Get down, George. No. Paige okay. is now it. Paige is now. Oh, it's the phone. Oh, Paige yeah. is now in third yeah. place. Oh, because he's. No, it's not a computer. Please. Right, let's get the computer. It could all change. Show the sofa. Bring the computer in. There it is. Oh, height of technology once again. There you are, right. there. Well, let's find out, because on you've been voting on the website to who you think should be the almighty kid this weekend for Sunday's Dick and Dom in a Bungalow. And if we press these buttons, like this. Let's have a look. Hey, the winner. winner. Oh, the winners of oh, the almighty kid vote with 27%. 27. Is Jake, Jake who wins 100 That's points? Jake! Yay! Can we have the points? 100 points! Let's have a look and see how well the table's coming in. Let's have a look and see, 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 yeah. see how the altar's thing. Out of the way, out of the way, everyone. Look. There's what? 250. It now goes up to 350. Oh, it's all oh, just in second place. It's a tight horse race, this one, isn't it? You know what I mean? I don't, no violence, no violence, come on. My word. I'll tell you what, it's been an absolute roller coaster just towards the end. It's the beginning of the end of the show. Well, it's the beginning of the end of the show. We've got uh, just a bit of time now to give away our last yeah. two email prizes, which are the uh, FOMA, uh, FOMA later. Two, two, two more of these. And uh, Emma, who's 11 years old, from Doncaster, says, uh, tell my dad to stop trumping in bed and making me stay in the room till the smell has gone. Oh, lucky you. Got he mail. He had a curry last night and it's really bad. A formulator later for you, Emma, my dear. Okay, you shall obtain an email. You shall obtain an email. Ten out of ten. Yeah, uh, Sam Crawley says, uh, Dick and Dom, there is a matter which you might uh, have to investigate. Me and my brother spotted George making signs with his finger and ear, making out that you two are mad. Hey, you George. Might, uh, you might uh, need to interrogate him. What was him. this? We've heard that you've been doing signs. Like this. Were, were you, might, you were doing were this. Go on, show us. No, you weren't doing that. You were making... No, you were doing this. You were doing, th you were doing that. Same what are you doing? Have you totally lost it? Let's say goodbye to the Aaron Cupboard Man. We've had the big person in the Aaron Cupboard all morning complaining about this. But I want to know, what, to, what does it mean when the teacher says, uh, when you say to the teacher that he's shallow? I don't understand what it means. What it's a swimming pool. Sorry, Eric, Cumberland, we don't have time. Pool. Thanks for coming in. Bye. Oh, wasn't he nice? Should Lovely. Should, should we, um... Right then, let's find out who the loser is on Nick and Dom in a Bungalow this Sunday morning. Line up, line up, line up, line up. Is it going to be Claire? Or is it going to be Jade or Paris or Paige or Jake or George? Is it Claire, Jade, Paris, Paige, Jake or George? The loser on Nick and Dom in a Bungalow on Sunday morning is Jade! Stop beating up the girls. Yeah, been no, stop it. the toilet. So we're going to the scores for the other... Hey, up, Dick and Dom. Do you know what I fancy? A nice bit of meat. Mm. Tell him to shut up, George. George, tell him to shut up. Tell him to shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Smack him harder. Tell him to shut up. Shut up! That's Here, it. I say, I say, don't take on the door. Now then, all right. Shut up! No, no. Thank you, Dad. Right. right, that means uh, Jade's gone to the toilet for a dog and good jiggy. Let's have a look who's in third, second, and first place, shall we? Yeah. And find out who's won those prizes. You can see that in third place with 201 points is George. Well done, George. Second place. We've got Jake. You are creeping in there with 350. But the winner of Dick and Dumb in a Bungalow this weekend is Paige with 355. Yeah. 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 And it's nearly Christmas, no, but it doesn't matter what time it is, because in the no. Bungalow every Sunday, Santa Claus is here to bring you prizes. Third prize. Now yeah, then, yeah. yes, George, you've won. You've won work, work experience. experience at Tubby Turk's kebab go, shop. Go and get and it. That go and get it, is Tubby Turk. Come on, Tubby Turk, come, come, come over here. Come over here, George. Tubby, he's yeah. all yours. Look at that lovely meat. Tubby, Tubby Turk, can you just quickly, amazing. Tubby Turk, can you just quickly explain what kind of work experience he's going to be doing? He's going to cook for me, make the beautiful kebabs in lovely. And, 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 and one, one, one final question, something we've all been dying to know: What are kebabs actually made of? 
you know what to know. I don't want to know. Thank you, thank you very much. Lips and nails. Right, the coming set to second prize is for Jake. It's the DVD and DVD player. Santa Claus 2 the Oh, hey, are you excited about that? You can watch a Santa Claus movie as we get a little Christmassy. Yeah, there you go. And Paige was in first place with 355 points. She gets the karaoke machine. Oh, look how happy she is. Oh, I tell you what. Hasn't it been a nice bungalow weekend? No, you've, we, you've all been fantastic. Hey, and the other two as well. Look, you, oh, yeah, John, and, John, John, right. and, and bungalow head. Yeah, don't, don't bungalow head. It's gonna, it's gonna work today because this is what you did. Oh, chocolate. Can we see Jake get gone? Can we see Jake get gone? We're going to do it in a yes, minute. Yes, you can yeah. do. Oh, yeah, did, you all have a, did you all enjoy this jolly time? Yeah. Right, now you can have a look at Jake being gone. Five, four, three, two, two one. You've got spam.